Hello, this is part two of navigation controller and tab bar controller. So let's bring up Ed's Xcode, create new X project. Now we're going to have an empty application here. So let's click that. Now, if you're a beginner, you can actually put any old letters in there. Uh, I throw away a lot of my projects, so it's only I only name them if I think it's a good one. So there we have an empty project. Now with an empty project there's a couple of things you have to do. In the app delegate you have to comment out this part of the code because it's not appropriate for our particular application and a lot of them. So it's in the did finish launching with options. You have to comment that out otherwise it won't work. And we have to add a storyboard because there isn't one in there an empty project so new file uh, user interface storyboard next iPhone do it for the iPhone and ju I'm just going to call it story in this case and then the create next now, there's another thing you have to do in the supporting files there's a plist info plist we have to actually add the storyboard in there because it doesn't do it by default so right click on um, any of those, any, any in that list and pick add row and then scroll down to M which is main storyboard file base name um, and then you can pick store, you can actually put two in, one for an iPad and one in the, for an iPhone. I'm just going to put a general one in. So now that has to be done otherwise it won't work. So those two things the app delegate has to be um, amended a little bit and the info p list has to you have to add the storyboard in there otherwise it won't work now you could add extra view controllers in here uh, if you look at another one of my videos I'll show you how to add in a, a particular view controller for your particular view that you're using but um, in this one I'm just going to use the default one I don't uh, need a special one and there's a storyboard and that's it. See you in part three.